You can find a similar game recently uh, played at an extremely high level. It's in classical. So this guy's rated fifth or sixth on the Lee Chess leaderboards. Yeah. If you look at this guy, he's ranked sixth, sixth and fifth. The guy's in the top ten. He's twenty eight hundred rapid. He's an absolute monster. All right. I beat him, and the point is. When you get to, I'll review that game as well at some point, maybe not tonight, in, in good detail I'll review this game, this is my best win ever, but from this position, you, uh, look how I did it as well, from this position, Rook F1, Rook F1, I'm not trying to mate him here, I understand my advantage here, I'm not trying to checkmate him, that is arguably a cute move, it's arguably a bit of a wimpy move, it's arguably a hilarious move, because what do you do, it's just killing any fun any counterplay now he's gonna to have to face this and he knows that and he knows that's his best chances so he does it yeah 2481 classical top 10 leaderboard you can beat these people I can beat these people we all can it's understanding the mental state the mental state people are in during a game is part of chess it's part of poker it's part of war it's part of life so you're gonna to get to here the only way I could have blundered this game is by playing that, I think, here. But you'll notice in this position, just gobbling stuff up. Give him nothing. Stay calm, don't panic. And he resigned here because he knew my mental state was very much orange. Yeah? I am not panicking. He wasted a lot of time trying to report me for cheating. I'm sure he did. If we go back to here, you'll notice... The game evolves until this moment. Then he has to give up his queen. Then I play rook f1, right? Takes, takes. At this point, he's got 18 minutes, 27 seconds on the clock. Spends about seven minutes trying to report me for cheating so he doesn't get a rated loss, I presume, was why this delay was so long. 11.21. It did not take this human being who's ranked 5th and 6th on the leaderboard 7 minutes to come up with that as a general plan in that time what he didn't know was I was actually in the black what he didn't realise was in this position I felt sick I was feeling sick to my core to my stomach thanks man I really did not want to throw this game to the point where I was feeling physically sick. Like 13 years worth of work have amounted to this moment. I've got a GM level opponent. He's top 10 on the leaderboards for Rapid and Classical. I'm playing a classical game with him. 25 and 0 rated. This counts. This is the best victory of my life. And I'll do a full separate review of this some other time. So don't panic practice these positions against the fish he wasted six minutes trying to report me if he carried on applying pressure here i'd have to play in the black i'd have to play ah i've just finished my red moment i know i'm winning i want to switch off i want to calm down the adrenaline's starting to wear off and i'm getting that horrible dump where i know this is actually easy i need to calm down i need to calm down and convert this this guy gave me the six minutes I needed to calm down trying to report me. So in these six minutes here, I chilled. And by the time this move came, I didn't panic and play here. Ah! No, 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 no. That's the move. That's a lovely move. I don't mind this. I'll step back. Oh. Yes, report me abstention for cheating because it's unheard of that someone of this elo can lose. And I tell you what's really upsetting, right? Let me tell you what's really upsetting. If I made this mistake here, I, I get my game, I get my win. If I found Queen F4 and carried on into the end game, which would have been a perfect game, by the way. If I found Queen F4 here, yeah, 
and we went into the expected computer line, which is takes, 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 etc. Yeah, and for some reason it lets that pawn drop as well. It does something like this, and you go like that. Right. If I'd gone into this end game, I would have more than likely been banned. He would have reported me and I would have more than likely have been banned because that would have been too accurate in a classical game, wouldn't it, against a player of such calibre. To absolutely outplay him in the opening, which by the way, if we, uh, if we look at me as black in this opening, I've played this position over a thousand times. Yeah, they're all hundreds that you can add up there. So as black, I face this so often, I, uh, I stopped playing it. I know it's awful. It's an awful way to reply to the Italian. It's not good. It has been played at Masters level, but from a practical perspective, if you face D4 here, it's just not. It's just not a good opening. And I spent years in this position with the black pieces. So I've also spent years in this position with the white pieces. And I figured out quite quickly, the best things to do in this position are either castle or just ram D4 in the face. And it is typically ram D4 in the face. So, guess what I did in this position? Ram D4 in the face. And, A up, we're in the Masters. No, nope. oh, what a shame, that would have been nice. He's over 24, isn't he? So, we continue in Masters database where there's a 33% for both. I'm sorry to go into this game immediately from what we were doing. But the, um, the reason he reported me, I think, came... Right, this is a bad move. From here, I start feeling like I might be able to win the opening against this player. I know that this is instinctively a bad move. He just blocked his bishop in. I don't care if it's been played at master level. Look at the results. Look at the results at master level. We've had one win and four draws. If we go into the Lee Chess database... 51% win for white with knight d5, bishop f4, f4, all these sorts of moves are coming in, yeah? Bishop f4 is the move where international master Alexander Tomic said to me, you play like machine, and he also said to me, if this is you. So even an international master doubted that this was me at this point, he said I play like machine. Uh, and it's fair, fair play if he said that if this is you but it kind of takes it away from everything I've ever done you know plenty of people with an average rating of 1963 have got to this position so why do people not want to believe it why do people say to me expressions like if this is you is it that accurate or is it just because my opponent is so high rated what is it why do people obsess about these numbers so much that this all of a sudden doesn't become an, a real game. That's why I despise the, the ELO mock so much. Rating is a myth. You know if you're good enough to beat Masters or not. You know if you're genuinely 21, 2200 or not. Based on your average wins. Based on your average losses. Based on your daily performance against your average rated opponent. It's not necessarily to do with anything else. But realistically, you can beat someone a thousand elo better than you and you can lose to someone a thousand elo worse than you that's the range so at 1600 or 1650 you can beat grandmasters because that range of a thousand is perfectly applicable once they enter positions that you know better that are winning because once that small advantage is on your side you're going to continue to win if you keep finding good moves there'll be no way out of it you're winning so this number doesn't matter and thank you so much, Mark Esserman, of all people, for teaching me that incredibly valuable lesson. I don't care what my opponent's rating is anymore. I care about winning the game. I care about the position. I care about the pieces. And what I bring to the table, which a lot of people don't, is I care about mindset. Because I have studied this. Don't forget this. Don't ever forget this. You need it in your life. You need already be to the thousand points higher rate to play than you. Yes, you did, Sledge. That is a wonderful way to bring me back to your game. So yeah, if I played Queen F4, I'd have got banned in the face. But I thought I thought Rook D2 was a really nice move, by the way. And then to get into this position, yeah. 
And now, Mark said he preferred Knight there, but I didn't play Knight here because I wanted to stop this check. Yeah? So I prefer Knight e4. It just stops this. And the blunder came. Plus 2.6. Doesn't matter who you're playing, plus 2.6. You can start converting this and winning if you find the right idea, the right move, if you're that way inclined, if you've been playing these sorts of games and you practice them daily, or at least often. Uh, somebody asked me what to do if King here, and they didn't see the problem. Yes, we have a Mitch Sport 1 just followed. Thank you for that. So if King here... Mike Sport 1 just followed. You take the rook, yeah? You don't worry about this. The reason being, there's a bigger threat if you take the rook. <laughs> so they have to deal with that, yeah? And, uh, yeah, instinctively, they're not going that way, are they? And facing that. So people have asked me what to do with here, and yeah, just take the rook and immediately threaten mate. So then you just up an exchange at the end of all that, aren't you? Behold is here! Hello, behold, welcome in. We're discussing, uh, at the moment, my game against a top 10 rapid and classical player, Lion. You need to check this guy out and how unbelievably strong he is. He's on the leaderboards for everything. And I got one past him in the classical game because he got aggressive about here, right? Now, I need to find Queen F4 here is the best move, but I find a very human move instead. And obvious idea if things are hanging. So queen here and I need to not necessarily get too excited because he can come straight back behold yes thank you Mark for teaching me these wonderful ways and Mark's discussed this right he needs to play queen f8 here but because he's in the red because he sees that I have 450 points less than him because he's annoyed in the position because he's in the attacking mode because all he can see is this and he wants to win that pawn. He completely misses rook f2. How long did he spend on that? Seven seconds. He's annoyed. He's annoyed that he's even got to this position. And because he's annoyed he's got to this position, he's wound himself up. Oh no, is our oh, links barred? I don't, there shouldn't be any asterisks. Asterisks is, is, is. What are you trying to post, behold? We'll get it on. So, due to his mindset and what this move enabled, annoyingly, is that check. Or so he thought. White to move. Oh, you saw the redeem? Which one? I don't know what you're trying to post either. If you're trying to post games to review, that's sweet. I'll review one. You're getting in the queue though. Has that just been patiently waiting for a long time? <laughs> so yeah, he just completely missed this here. And now the queen can't get back. Now there's actually no way of stopping this other than to sack the queen. And from here, it should be a formality. But like I was discussing with people before, if I felt physically sick here, this was going to be the best win of my life. I need to not mess it up. So I'm immediately going in the black but I've still got some sort of combat capability and I'm trying to calm myself down and simplify the position. Ha, 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 ha. Don't panic, but this makes sense. This gives me less to think about. He's 100% taking that. Nice. So here, like I pointed out to someone else, he wasted a lot of time trying to report me for cheating and get me banned. Waste of time. Either that or he went for a break, hoping I disconnected. There's no reason to spend seven minutes here. And by that point, I'd recovered and I'd calmed down. Thanks, man. Thanks. It is an okay game. The opening is incredibly instructive and important. The Paris defense is terrible. And then 